Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I would like to share with you my new stitch pattern with seed beads. For work I will use 2 mm crochet hook, a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn, 169 meters in 50 grams, and seed beads. Before the work I threaded seed beads onto the working yarn. You can use any kind of seed beads. Let's get started crocheting. Please join me. Let's begin the work. Make a chain of 18. Pattern consists of 4 stitches. It means 16 stitches for pattern and another 2 are for more beautiful look. Let's count 1. It is going to be the foundation chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. My foundation chain is ready. It is going to be the first row. It will be a row of half double crochet. Make chain of two to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook. I insert the hook into the one, two, three, fourth chain stitch away from the hook. And make half double crochet. Like this. And make half double crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain like this keep working in this way till the end of this row my first row is ready this row is not included into the main pattern let's crochet the first row of the main pattern for this make a chain of three to bring up the yarn turn the work yarn over the hook i skip the first stitch Insert the hook into the second stitch. Make double crochet. Draw seed beads. Next step is chain three. One, two, three. Now I am working around this stitch. I'm going to make double crochet not finish on the chain with bead five times around this stitch. Draw seed bead, yarn over the hook with seed bead, insert the hook around the double crochet. Pull up a loop, pull through the chain, then pull through two loops, like this. Continue, one, yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops. This is the second one. Two, three, like this. I need to do two more stitches. Yarn over the hook with seed bead. Insert the hook around the stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops. This is the fourth one and make the last one. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook around the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops. I have got six loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Plus one loop then yarn over 
Pull through first three loops. I have got four loops on the hook. Pull through. Here what I have. Make a chain and pull a little bit. So my stitch is ready. Yarn over the hook. I skip from this stitch. One, two, three. And work with the fourth stitch. Insert the hook into the this stitch. Make double crochet. Now let's repeat one more time this stitch. Let's stop and look at my stitch. This is front. Let's look at the reverse side. Make chain of three for the next stitch. Let's crochet, double crochet on the chain, not finish, five times. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, and pull through two loops, one. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops, two. So you should work in the same way as I showed you before, till you will get five stitches not finished. I have done all five stitches. I do not finish all of them. In total, I have got six loops on the hook. Then yarn over, pull through first three loops. Then yarn over, pull through four loops on the hook. And my second stitch is ready. Make a chain and pull a little bit. I skip one, two, three, and double crochet into the fourth stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. In total, it should be four such stitches in your row. I have done four such stitches. Here how they look like. Pattern consists of four stitches. Let's complete this row together. To complete this row, make double crochet. I skip one, two. Insert the hook into the chain stitch. Make double crochet into the chain stitch. That is the last one. My row is ready. Next row will be a row of half double crochet. Pattern consists of two rows. One of them is stitch. Or stitches with seed beads. And another one is four half double crochet. Chain of two. To bring up the yarn, turn the work to the back side. I skip one and to work into the three chain space. Make four half double crochet into this chain space. One, two, three, and four. Well done. And work into the each chain space. Make four half double crochet. I will begin and you will continue by yourself. So you should work with your own. One, two, three. I remove seed beads. And let's stop and look. I have done three. Let's make the last one. Make four half double crochet. Make four half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Keep working in this way till the end of this row.
Let's complete the second row of the main pattern. Pattern consists of only two rows. After I have done the last half double crochet, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the chain stitch, make half double crochet. This is the third chain stitch from the bottom or the first one from the top. Let's crochet the next row. For this, make a chain of 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook. I skip. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Make double crochet. And you should repeat in the same way as I showed with you in the row where I did my stitches with seed beads. Chain of 3. And work with the stitches that will not finished. Yarn over the hook with seed bead, draw seed beads, insert the hook around the double crochet, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops, one. Make the second one, draw seed bead, yarn over the hook, insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through first loop, pull through two loops two. In total it should be five of them. Three. Four. Pull a little bit and pull through two loops. And let's make the last one. I remove seed beads. I just leave the last seed bead. Make the fifth one. As I did before, yarn over, pull through first three loops and pull through all loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and make a chain, pull a little bit, yarn over the hook, I skip one, two, three, insert the hook into the fourth stitch, make double crochet. Then chain of three and keep working in this way till the end of this row. So you should crochet as many times as you need for your pattern or for your project. So that's it, my swatch is ready. I have done seven rows. Here what I have at this point. And I remind you, I used seed beads, two millimeters crochet hook, and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. You can use it to create huge project or accessories for yourself. Also, it could be perfect to create jewelry, such as bracelet or necklace. In this case, you should crochet less rows. You don't need a special skills, you just need to know how to make double crochet and half double crochet. And of course, you need to get some seed beads. You can crochet from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. It is no matter. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. Please visit the description of each video tutorial where you will find a lot of useful links. See you next time and good luck and crocheting. Bye!